Tennessee ag is known for its row crops and cattle, but we grow a tasty tomato and the sweetest of sweet corn. We're a top state for vegetable production because of our good soils and climate. UT Extension's Dr. Annette Wislacki is growing several vegetables at the Plateau Ag Research Center in Crossville. We're looking for both sweet corn and tomato varieties that the growers like and that the consumers will like. So we not only look at the plant characteristics and the yield that the grower would appreciate, but also look at the flavor characteristics that the consumer will appreciate. Wislacki also works with organic vegetables, popular these days with producers and grocery shoppers. You may think organic means plant it in the ground and leave it alone, no herbicides or pesticides. But in many ways, going organic requires even more management than conventionally grown crops. To be considered organic, USDA guidelines must be met and only natural fertilizers and insecticides can be used. A lot of people think it's stopping everything they're doing, not using pesticides and just going natural and that's not exactly true. But we're working on demonstrating techniques to show what you can do to reduce your inputs and also to get the price premiums. Organic vegetables differ from other foods in how they're grown, handled and processed. There's no conclusive evidence to suggest organic foods are healthier for us, but good soils produce healthy plants and many believe organic vegetables taste better and contain more nutrients. UT's Dr. Brandon Smith is focusing his research on cover crops in organic farming systems. And we have no, virtually no disease problems, which is unheard of in conventional systems, so you know, never mind organic systems. Smith works here at UT's Organic Research Unit, where you'll find organic crops like carrots, tomatoes, melons, and eggplant. Scientists here are also growing these cow peas between rows of foxtail millet. We use cover crops not only to enhance fertility, but also as a way to suppress weeds. In a way, we're giving the soil a little break over the summer. Uh, we're keeping weeds from growing, and then, you know, with rising fertilizer prices now, you know, we're, we're putting a whole lot of nitrogen back into our crop basically for free for only the cost of the seed. Smith believes any vegetable can be produced organically, though some are more challenging than others because of insects. Future demand from farmers and consumers makes this research critical, and it all starts with good taste grown naturally. It's good. This is Chuck Denny reporting.